Hi there everyone, Paul Hanich here from Professionals Wellstead team, welcoming you to beautiful Townside Treasure, 15 Villiers Street East in Bassendine. We're just under 200 metres from the Swan River here. It's a beautiful, beautiful, quiet cul-de-sac little spot here. Uh, come on inside, very excited to show you around. So uh, we're on a beautiful, it's a corner block, 842 square metres. Lots of parking here, you'll notice on the driveway, we've got uh, double undercover parking uh, for the carport. You could fit another four cars at least. Plus you've got like a little driveway here with double gates. I'll finish off with that one, but uh, yeah, car, cars, trailer, caravan, boat, whatever. Come on inside. So say double undercover parking here, all gated and fenced and everything, which is nice. Nice private and covered entry. So security door here. So the first thing that we're gonna notice is a tiled entrance and uh, stepping down to a nice sunken lounge. I love this spot. So uh, ceiling fan here, split system air conditioner. So nice cozy lounge, this does get used a lot and uh, got beautiful views out to the backyard. Really good spot. On the original floor plan, I guess this would have shown us the formal dining room. No, don't think a lot of those get used anymore. So uh, current owner uses this as a bit of a hobby room actually at the moment. There is a sliding door here, glass door. It has been bolted shut. I'm pretty sure you'd probably be able to reinstate that if you wanted to uh, make different use of this and then just be able to use that door, no problem. Uh, central area, you've got your kitchen, which sort of you're nice and close to both living areas. So kitchen, electric, cooking, nice skylight in here, room for a decent sized fridge and uh, plenty of overhead cupboards, nice big chunky handles, lots of drawers, which is cool. You do have a little view out to the uh, carport there as well. So yeah, lots of cupboards. I do like it. Um, sort of central living area, got family and dining here as well. Uh, another split system air conditioner, ceiling fan, wood heater. Not a, not a very, that's a pretty recent addition actually, the wood heater. I like the fireplace surround. Or is it gas? Okay, got to check on that one. Sorry guys. Um, come on through, nice, uh, you got a glass door separating your living area from your bedroom zone. Coming, uh, I'll take you through to the main bedroom first. So three bedrooms, one bathroom, and you've got a second shower. So lots of cupboards here, four door cupboards, curtains, blinds, another split system air conditioner here in the main bedroom. And it is a semi ensuite sort of access to the bathroom here as well. Second bedroom, sort of also gets used a bit of a study area, sort of sitting room. Another couple of door cupboard there, another split system air conditioner and ceiling fan. And um, bathroom, has had some updates at some stage. House was built about 1978. So separate bath and shower here and pedestal vanity, which is nice. And uh, yeah, as I said, you've got access from here into the main bedroom as well. Third bedroom, all tiled, uh, another split system air conditioner. So nice and comfortable, ceiling fan as well and blinds out to that little shaded area out the front. Uh, laundry and toilet so as i said second shower which is nice and handy the laundry set up for these guys they've got the washing machine outside because he's a shift worker um and yeah toilet there of course and a little linen slash uh, broom cupboard just behind the door and we can move outside so that's the inside done outside is just as good so stunning gardens, all bore reticulated. So you've got this massive, <laughs> massive patio area. It's huge. Ceiling fan here as well. So all paved, nice and private. That's one thing that you do notice about these gardens, nice and private. As I said, bore reticulated. I'll show you where the, um, the laundry setup is here. So this is all undercover, nice and watertight, double sink. Uh, that's their washing machine there. So you might sort of set that back up inside, I suppose, but you've got a place to wash your fish when you bring them home outside, which is cool. Now coming out to the gardens, lots of fruit trees, 
nice high fences, lots of privacy here. Uh, back in the day, this was a swimming pool. Has been filled in. The bottom has been broken up a little bit, but it wouldn't be too, too difficult to reinstate that if you wanted to have a swimming pool here. Uh, keep coming around a little bit further. Got a beautiful day for it. Fruit trees, as I said, they're yeah, just about in every place that you look. I love that little spot over there. Powered workshop here. So good size place to tinker and store. Gardens are lovely. And they've got quite a bit of width on this side. I said, uh, good if you're a keen gardener or you might sort of change this around a little bit to suit your needs if uh, they're different to what the current owners are. Double gates down there, a little bit of a hard stand if you've got, uh, there was a caravan park there at one stage and that was there for a little while. And um, you've, got, you've got an external power point over here as well. So um, just over on the pillar, external power point. So yeah, pretty good place to set up your caravan actually, or uh, boat, trailer, whatever. So that's it guys. 15 Billiard Street, Eastern Bassendine. You're on the town side here, 842 square meter block. It's a bit of a whopper, a uh, beautiful spot. You're very close to Sandy Beach within walking distance and also the river. So get in touch. This is a ripper. We'd love to show you through.